guys making plans. So the girls. Except of course fee. What's wrong? Um, I'm going to go after her, okay? Thanks. Huh, do you think you can maybe make a little more effort to get along with her? You are her senior, after all. Uh, I'm aware of that, however... Looks like those two are getting along the same as ever. They seem to be arguing after their race in our swimming course, too. <clears throat> hmm. I heard their group's last field study score was middling up as well. It's true. They were like that the entire trip. Is there nothing uh, you can do to smooth things out between them, Reen? Well, I'd love to do something for them if I could, but... Huh? Why me? Well, you just seem good at this kind of thing. A real natural. <laughs> and besides, you're the well-intended Mark who gets duped into running the... Uh, intention... Intention Mark who gets... Who got dumped into running errands for the student council. It's not like I do anything that major for them. Hmm? What's wrong, Elliot? Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, right. I have to agree, Reen. I agree, Reen. I think you're the best one for the job, too. I mean, it was thanks to you that Eustace and Machius became buddies. Who the hell became buddies? You must be sniffing roses in the Garden of Delusions if you think I'm friends with him, of his. <laughs> you both say that, but you're totally on the same wavelength. Um, anyway, hate to dish and dash, but... I've got a club meeting to get to. Oh yeah, wind orchestra, right? Hm, I should be on my way as well. Actually, I got a club meeting to attend to myself. I'll catch you all later then. <coughs> Class 7 uniform. You can change costumes by selecting the costume you want to wear in the costume section of the camp menu's equip tab. If no costume has been selected, the character's outfit will change automatically over the course of the story. However, certain scenes will feature characters wearing specific outfits rather than the costume you've selected. So, we have a story override. Oh, not, no bonding points right now. Uh, let's see then. Uh, the girls are over there. Huh. Emma, I thought you were going to go after, uh, Fee. Well, anyway, uh, Fee's on the roof. Guy's on the same floor as us. Elliot's on the floor below. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sarah is at the old schoolhouse. Crow is at the engineering building. Laura's at the gym. Kennedy Field is Elisa, Emma, and Eusis. Uh, and then Guy, or no, Machias and uh, um, Toa are in the student union. Alright. <clears throat> Let's start small. I say small. Oh, hey. Good day, Masterine. Oh, hello, Sharon. What brings you here? One of the, my duties is to fulfill some of the chairman's board of directors related work on be her behalf. I was in the process of doing just that. Wow, I knew you were skilled, but helping out with things that are so tangentially, uh, tangential like this is, that is really something else. They were merely a few simple tasks, that's all. The chairman rarely finds the time to visit, and as such she often requests that I come along in her stead. That's Sharon for you, shrugging off her own superhuman accomplishments. Hi, right, it's, uh, Elliot? <clears throat> Wait. Oh, there he is, with the instructor. 
Is that Elliot hanging out with Instructor Nightheart? That took longer than I'd expected. I have preparations to make for tomorrow, so I'm afraid I'll have to excuse myself. Oh, of course. Sorry to keep you. <clears throat> Wonder what they were talking about. Whew. <sighs> Hey, Elliot. Huh? Oh, sorry, Reen. Didn't see you there. Huh, no worries. I was just surprised to see you and, and Instructor Nightheart together. What were you guys talking about? <laughs> you know, just stuff. Oh, that reminds me. I really need to get back to the club right about now. See you later. He's hiding something. Well, that was weird. Doesn't seem like they were talking about anything too important, though. <clears throat> Elliot, how dare you? You lied to me. I thought we were friends. <clears throat> anyway, so that's Elliot. And yes, there are a couple scenes with a few individual characters, but I'm going to talk to everyone anyway, so... And by everyone, I mainly mean Class 7. You're really good at painting, aren't you? <laughs> How about I give you a little... Uh, private modeling for your next painting? Hmm? Doing the design from a live model would definitely be good practice. But I've got to say, you seem a lot bolder than usual today. <laughs> All just a part of your imagination. It's Vivi. Hmm... So this is what she's drawing, but it could uh, use a bit of that V. Ahem, I mean that Linda touch. It's Vivi. Come on, girl, leave the leave your sister alone. Hello. <laughs> oh no. I you'll survive. Uh, it's gotten pretty late. I've got my window orchestra performance next month, though, so I still need to get some more practice time in. Does Elliot know Instructor Nightheart? They were talking for a good while there. Not sure uh, how they would have gotten acquainted, though. I mean, he's one of our teachers, so I would imagine. Sister Ornella requested that I help with the... Wind Orchestra with the planning and setting up of their performance. A performance at the church sounds splendid, so I gladly accept it. They seem to be putting all their effort into it too, which gives me even more reason to want to help them. Oh, How nice. Alright. So, our next target is on the roof. V. Oh, hey, it's him. He survived. Ah, Summer, what a marvelous season. Tis the season which awakens my pathos and passion. It's as if they're being called out to play by the sun itself. Or perhaps by those lovely young maidens seeking refreshment in the pool over there. Your ability to draw connections between such unrelated concepts is truly awe-inspiring, Master Vincent. Sarifa, please. Such flattery is unnecessary. I don't think... Eh. Whatever. I'm not gonna understand them. Ah, they're over here. What's with the glove? Fee, what are you doing here? Hmm? Earth to Fee, this is your commander speaking. Do you read me? Oh, Reen. Didn't notice you. Were you lost in thought or something? I've never seen you not notice someone talking to you. Don't worry about it. Leave me alone for a bit. Sure, sorry about that. She definitely has something on her mind, but if, I, if she asked to be left alone, there's not a whole lot I can do for her now. Oh well. Can't help those who don't want to be helped, or something along those lines. 
All right, that's the school building done. Let's go to the union building. I'm betting Machius is upstairs. Also, do you have anything for me? The Nowaki no Tachi. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, no, they're weaker. I saw one go green. Hmm. Nope. Well, that's better for some of them. Uh, issue four. Let's buy it. <clears throat> oh yeah, didn't the chess club have an important match coming up or something? The summer festival is right around the corner now. I'm sure all the preparations will be keep my father busy as usual. What's your dad like anyway? The impression I get from reading the Imperial Chronicle is that he's a top-rate governor offic government official at least. Well, he's a good-humored person, both at work and at home. He's always willing to listen to people and interact with them. I think that's part of what makes him a popular figure. Yeah. He sounds like a good man. I wish more people in politics felt that approachable. I guess the best uh, way to put it is that he's an ally of the people, for better or worse. I haven't really talked with him recently, to be honest. Maybe I should write, uh, write at some point. That sounds nice. Uh, student council president, how are you doing? Hey, Reen. It feels like summer is finally here now that swimming lessons have started, doesn't it? Yeah, it really feels, uh, it'll really feel like it once the heat starts, uh, ratcheting up, though. Uh, by the way, aren't you a bit hot in that winter uniform you're wearing? It's not like I'm the only one. The school regulations don't say that you have to, uh, switch after all. Besides, it's the Academy's traditional uniform. Most of us in the student council and... Lots of nobles keep it on all year. It was actually designed to be worn all year, cool in the summer and nice and toasty in the winter. I see. So basically, it's not as hot as it looks. <laughs> pretty much. Maybe you should try wearing yours uh, sometime this summer just to try it out. I think I'll pass. I'm already sweating. <laughs> I'm already sweating enough as it is. Leave me alone. Alright, no one at the library, no one in the courtyard, and the academy field has... Three people. I know, but still. Hmm? I s could swear I just heard someone talking. Who's back there? No one around the corner. In the building? It's locked. Doesn't mean there's not anyone in there. I don't know. He didn't show the potential while we were in Nord. Ugh, I knew I should have come with you. Seems pretty likely he's a key. But... Huh? That voice sounds familiar. Uh, who's there? Ah, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. Huh? Oh, Emma, it's you. Wait, isn't that Black Cat? Reen, how long have you been there? Oh, I was just passing by when I heard voices, so I started one wondering where they were coming from. Wait. You were talking with someone, right? Where'd they go? Um, well... I, I was talking to a friend with my Arcus. That communication functionality sure is convenient, isn't it? <laughs> you know it. Sorry I interrupted you, then. I'll get out of your way if you want to call them back. <laughs> it's alright, we had just finished talking anyway. There's nothing you need to worry about. Nothing at all. Okay, if you say so. Still, you really do know that cat, then. Wait, it's not your cat, is it? No, it's not quite like that. 
If anything, she's like my supervisor. A cat is? Sorry, I meant my friend. Yes, the two of us have a real connection. Back when I first came to the academy, we kept running into each other. And after a few offerings of milk and cheese, we eventually struck up a friendship. <laughs> so that's how it was, huh? She seems pretty well behaved today. I take it she's in a good mood? <laughs> it certainly seems that way, doesn't it? There we go. Um, anyway, I'm sure uh, her owners and Trissa must be getting worried, so I should take her back there. After all, it might cause some trouble uh, if the instructors found a cow on the academy grounds. Oh, right. I don't actually think anyone would care. Oh, Emma. Yes? What is it? You wouldn't happen to know her name, would you? If she has an owner in Trista, I'm sure uh, they named her. Ah, yes, you're right. Um... <laughs> her name is Celine. Ah, so that's her name. Celine, huh? It's got a nice ring to it. She's got uh, such shiny, silky-looking fur. It really suits her. <laughs> well, at least you uh, knew she was a female. I'd been wondering up until tonight. <laughs> I thought the bow would have given it away. Alright, Celine, let's get you home. <clears throat> uh, not... <laughs> yes, because she was talking on her Arcus. She had the speaker function on. Yes. That is what happened. Wink. <laughs> I wish I could get her to cozy up with me like that. Next time I see her around, I'll have to give her some fresh milk. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll just keep my mouth shut until the game wants to talk about it. <laughs> Not a bad horse, if I say so myself. I doubt it matches up to the ones we rode in Nord, though. Perhaps I should ride it around the field a lap for a lap or two. Sounds fine. Alright. Uh-oh. Are we in a clash of the... Clash of the skill? You cheated! That is the only possible explanation for this. The idea that I would somehow lose otherwise is, well, it's inconceivable. Oh, please. You know full well that I wouldn't cheat. Th that is true. Well, clearly my stick is somehow faulty. We shall do this once more after I have exchanged my stick for one that works properly. I give up. <laughs> Look, girl. You can battle a hundred times. At some point, someone's gonna have to win 51. Ah, my nose. Alright. Alright, so... Who does that leave us with? After the academy field is the gymnasium, the engineering building, and then the old schoolhouse. Alright, let's go see... Lo Did Rain just squat? Anyway, uh, let me guess. In here? Let's see. Two people, but not who I'm looking for. Is she upstairs? Hmm. There's no one on this floor. So I just must have missed her. Okay. Oh, there are two. There's two over there. Okay. I did not even look. Yeah, I, at a quick glance, I didn't see them. Hey, Laura. Your kicks are completely wrong, uh, Monica. How many times must I repeat myself before you understand? I, I'm so sorry. I'll do it right this time. This does not... 
This does not seem like Laura. You'll have to forgive me. I'm afraid my poor teaching is at fault. Please, excuse me for a moment. Would you mind practicing on your own for a while? Sure. <sighs> Laura, is everything okay? I'm very sorry you had to see that. It seems I still have a ways to go myself. Laura, she really has been off lately. I still have a lot to learn myself. I need to give a better effort and be more patient with, uh, while coaching Monica. Yeah, you kinda just, you know, snapped at her. First thing it, uh, that comes to mind when I think of summer festival is the uh, summer races, of course. Wish I, uh, wish I knew which horse was going to dominate the track this year. Correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't students prohibited from betting on the horse races? Not to worry. They check you out so thoroughly that it's nearly impossible for me to put down bets in the first place. <sighs> Still, it's rough being a student sometimes. Hey, George. What's up? Gwyn Reinford uh, helped lay the foundation of the development of the orbital technology in Erebonia. Nobody knew what ha happened to him uh, after he resigned as chairman, so it's nice to hear he's doing well. I'd love to have the chance to sit and talk to him someday, engineer to engineer. Fun fact, uh, I should have mentioned this when he had speaking lines, but um, our good friend here, uh, George, is also voiced by Matthew Mercer. Oof, Elliot. Someone needs work. There you go, work done. Uh, let's see, Laura cannot have any... Ooh, she could... Alright, uh, da 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 ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba Let's see, nope. And these... Oh wait, his feet? I thought... Oh, okay. For some reason I thought... I'm getting people mixed up. So, Usus, uh, still has two to go. Alright. From the top. Reen is cleared. Elisa needs one. Elliot needs two. Laura needs two. Machius needs one. Emma needs two, Eusis needs two, and Fee and Gaius are done. <clears throat> Let's uh, exchange all that I gathered. Here we go. Uh, what can I get? What can I afford? Oh, they got EP Cut 2 for sales. Phantom Phobia. Terrifies enemies with an illusion of death. Stat down, random. <clears throat> eh. What can I buy? And my EP charge twos. That's nice. And finally, the old schoolhouse. Well, instructor, what have you found? Nothing. I've been checking in on the old schoolhouse regularly myself. I haven't seen any significant changes so far this month, though. No new floors have popped up either. Well, I think we're on the right track in believing that, that changes happen once a month at least. There may be another influencing factor we haven't considered, yet, though. Well, however it might work, the investigation part's all up to you. I'll have the principal put in another request on your free day, so, your plan uh, so make your plans accordingly. Will do. Alright, and with that, we've talked to everyone. Now, I guess... We go home. Okay, um, I can't think of anything else to do. Hold on. Okay, uh, I guess a couple of things, but they're really minor. Uh, first off to the student union. I know I can't get stuff like character profile trophies and, um, whatchamacallit, uh, 
What was the other one? Uh, scan log entry uh, trophies, because... Uh, there we go. Talk to this chap here. Oh, I'm a brown angler, huh? You can trade your points for some new stuff. Oh, I can trade here. Cool. I can get a deluxe rod. Sure. Why not? Save you. Mute. <clears throat> Let's... Oh, we can't. Can't afford it. Alright. Alright, got me a new rod. I got, uh... Got some, uh, new ornaments. A quartz. I don't know why that's been a struggle. Alright, and then the library. There's something new. Arabonian Folklore, Volume 2. And done. I have read that one. Alright. Okay, I guess with this... Alright. Yep. Let's head to the front. Let's head on back. Should I go back to the dormitory? Return. Hmm? I guess there are cicadas around Trista, too. When I hear them, I always feel like that's when summer's really arrived. <laughs> Retiring for the day, <clears throat> Schwarzer. Is that Nightheart? Yeah. I believe his voice actor was Cam Clark. Instructor Nightheart. Yes. Are you heading out too? Indeed. I have some business to take care of with my division, so I'll be returning there tomorrow. With that on the agenda, I thought it wise to finish the day's work early. Your division? Oh yeah. You were sent here by the Imperial Army, right? Correct. But because of that, it's difficult to keep a regular schedule here. Yeah. Anyway, while I'm here, I want to acknowledge the work you did during your field study last month. Uh oh. That is something wrong. That incident in Nord. The same. Reading the army's report, it seemed that armed conflict with the Republican army was a real possibility. While the Very much so. Division no doubt had a hand in resolving the conflict. You and the other members of your group played an integral part in averting a war. You deserve credit for that. <laughs> um, thanks. You haven't been able to find out anything more about that man with the glasses, have you? The one who hired the mercenaries and introduced himself as Gideon? Regrettably not. The intelligence division is looking into his identity, but they don't appear to have found anything yet. Oh, good. Personally, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they had discovered something already, but chose not to share it with us. <laughs> uh, that could very well be the case. Knowing Lecter, it's kind of hard what's going on with him. I see. Schwarzer, I'll be the first to admit you performed admirably out there, but I assume you're aware that luck played a large part in your success? <laughs> well, yeah. I... Reading your report, the number of arbitrary decisions stood out to me. For an army to function, its members need to work together as a group, united under the will of its commander. As an organization, it can't perform at its best if its members disregard authority and act on instinct. You've already been over this in class, I believe? I mean, without that intuition, we literally would not get anything done. Yes, Instructor. I realize now that our actions in Nord were rash. They made things harder for the Lieutenant General. If it wasn't for our inexperience, we might have been able to capture the man with the glasses, too. If you understand that, I have nothing further to say on the matter. It's not my intent to belittle your efforts. Your report indicates that you were forced to make a number of split-second decisions. I'm not suggesting that there's no place for flexibility and independent thought in an organization like the Army. But it's vital for you to understand the reasoning behind and importance of that structure and to respect it. Yes, Instructor. Oh, shove it. <sighs> Teaching cadets to respect and work within that system should be the job of their class's instructor. Oh. 
Yoko, considering her background, I was foolish to expect that of her. Her? You're talking about Instructor Sarah? Indeed. Granted, she's quite skilled, but she lacks the disposition and diligence of a soldier. I mean, she's... <sighs> yeah, I agree with you there, but at the same time, she's there when we need her to be, you know? I understand she didn't come from an army background, but with her position, one would hope she would pick up on the basics. Oh, so do you know what Instructor Sarah did before she became an instructor here? <laughs> oh, is she keeping mom about that? I just assumed you were already aware. Oh. Before she came to Thor's, Sarah was... Uh-uh-uh. It's not very becoming of a gentleman <laughs> to go around broadcasting <laughs> a lady's secrets, you know. And speak of the devil. They appear. Hello, instructor. Is there a reason she wants to instructor keep mom Sarah. about it? Instructor Valestein. I totally understand where you're coming from. You meet a beautiful, captivating lady and you want to know more. But don't let hard-headed officer types like our friend here rub off on you too much. Got it? You always play by the rules and you'll find yourself in a jam someday when you encounter people who don't. I instructor? Oh. Huh. You're one to talk. I hardly think a capricious instructor who leaves everything to chance is capable of guiding our cadets to greatness. Well, of course, I couldn't do a better job than the ace of the 4th Armored Division. Or was that the Provincial Army? I mean, you've got the whole tradition and status or everything mindset down pat. Ooh, conflict between teachers. These two really don't seem to get along. First Sharon, now Instructor Nightheart. Instructor Sarah almost seems like she's spawning for a fight. Who do we have here? Well, if it isn't Instructor Sarah and Instructor Nightheart. Oh, it's the history teacher. Uh-oh. Ah, Instructor Thomas? Oh, and young Green is with you too. Simply marvelous. It looks like you're having a downright jolly time. Would you mind if I joined you? Uh, I'm not sure that would be... Uh, <laughs> Actually, I was just leaving. Come along, Reen. We need to hurry back to the dorms now. We do? Oh, but while we're all together like this, what say uh -oh. we have a few drinks together and enjoy some quality faculty bonds? <laughs> I heard the two of you really know how to hold your liquor. I'm afraid I really must. I've actually just been hit with the overwhelming urge to drink alone in my room tonight. Now, now, there's no need to be shy. We're all friends here. Oh, I know. Why don't you come along with us, Reed? Uh, I can't drink. We can't float a beer your way quite yet, but I'd be happy to treat you to something else. Uh, no, it's quite all right. You teachers are always so busy, I'd hate to get in the way of your quality bonding time. So, if you'll excuse me, I'll be sure to let Sharon know that you're having dinner out tonight, Instructor. <laughs> no, Reen, well, wait! <laughs> what kind of heartless monster are you? Get back here, Reen Schwarzer! <laughs> well, shall we go? <laughs> Reen dodged a bullet! He dodged a cannon! I... I couldn't possibly. I need to depart early tomorrow morning, so I really must insist. <laughs> Sarah will remember that. Chapter 4, Midsummer's Rev Revels. Hang out in the dormitory. I totally just ditched them. <laughs> oh, come on, Val Instructor. Did you really think I wouldn't pull a fast one on you after all the crap you've done to me? I have to admit, I'm a little sad I won't be able to go to the summer festival this year. Since I grew up in Heimdall, I looked forward to it every summer. That and... And what? Ah, just forget I said anything. Elliot. Okay, so... What's with the one glove there, Reen? Is a practice thing? He's not wearing it on his winter uniform. <clears throat> oh, I can just come in now. What are you up to, Yusus? 
I'm cleaning my horse riding gear. It got dirtier than I expected while I was out riding on the highway today. Well, at least it looks like you're having fun in the riding club. I can understand that though. Riding those horses across the North Highlands on our field study felt fantastic. You really did. If we ever had the opportunity to do so again, I certainly wouldn't complain. <clears throat> Look at how much we've evolved. What are you drawing, Gaius? I came up with a great idea for a uh, painting during our la field study last month. I'm in the middle of roughing out the composition for it at the moment. Nice. I look forward to seeing the finished piece. <laughs> Sorry to say, but this one's going to take me a while. I have plenty of other projects to work on too, so I'm planning on doing this painting in a, at a nice relaxed pace. But don't worry, I plan on showing all of you when it's done, so I hope you'll look forward to it. Sounds good to me. Man, everyone's room is so bare. Good evening, Reen. Hey there, Machius. Still studying, huh? That's great, but make sure to call it a night before it gets too late. Don't worry, I will. Once it starts getting warmer, it'll probably be easier to focus on studying during the mornings and evenings. That's why I figured it'd be a good idea to start easing myself into a new studying hours right now. I see. Looking around, I can't help but be impressed how nice and tidy your room is. I guess that shouldn't be a surprise, though. You've always seemed like the type to keep everything in its place. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Heh, <laughs> of course. <clears throat> well, it's just easier to concentrate in a clean room. You should keep yours in order, too. A clean room is a relaxing place. Yeah, I probably... Uh, I should probably take your advice to heart there. Look how much we've evolved. Eusis and Machius are allowing me into their rooms. Like, I could just walk in there. I remember back when I couldn't even do that. Hey, Laura. What's you doing out here? Huh? It's rare to see you sigh l uh, like that. I'm feeling tired, that's all. Lately, between swimming lessons and club practice... I feel like I've spent more time in water than out. I guess I still have a way to go. <laughs> her clash with Fee must still be bothering her. Eh, you know, people hold a grudge. Alright. Elisa. It's, it definitely feels like summer's here now that our swimming lessons have started. I was thinking about going to the boutique tomorrow to... Buy some new clothes, but I don't know if I should. We're almost always in our uniforms, so there probably isn't that much point. <laughs> hmm, our summer uniforms are fairly comfortable too. I guess I shouldn't buy trending clothes if I want, uh, if I won't have a chance to wear them. It's logical, but still disappointing. Well, at least you have a better mindset than others. Good evening, Reen. Good e evening, Emma. Say, aren't those cards kind of uh, the kind people use for fortune telling? That's right, they're called tarot cards. My grandmother taught me how to use them. Girl, uh, girls seem, uh, really seem to be into that fortune telling stuff, huh? Well, how about you read my fortune? Just something simple is fine, of course. Something simple. Hmm. Ah, let's go with this then. Emma thoroughly shuffled her cards and picked one. The Wheel of Fortune. In the upright position, this card represents chance, change, and turning points in life. So, a general reading would suggest that you're approaching a major major turning point in your life. Huh. That's a big bit vague, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm still learning the finer points of reading the cards. I am rather curious about this result, though. Is it about that conversation you had with your friend over the Arcus? <laughs> alright, alright. Oh. Well then. Oh, Reen. Are you okay, Fee? You were kind of spacing out there. I'm fine. Did you need something? Not really, I just want... Wait, 
What are you sitting on? Weapons, explosives, all that good stuff. Whoa, just be careful with those. I know how to handle them. That's probably a bad thing, though. Huh? Nothing. I'm going to sleep. Night. Yeah, good night. <laughs> Our conversations are always so brief. So these are her weapons, huh? Just weapons and explosives just sitting on boxes of crates of them, huh? Is our instructor in? No. We totally did ditch on her, though. Uh, she's probably going to give us an earful tomorrow. But that's for tomorrow, Reen's problem, not tonight, Reen. Should I call it a day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there are two people here. Oh. <laughs> I'm back. Woo. It's been a while since I got this plastered. Don't tell me you and Instructor Nightheart were trying to outdrink each other. Of course not. He hardly even drank anything. Now, Instructor Thomas, though, wow, you should have seen him drain those beers. I did my best to the rise to the challenge, of course, but he just kept chugging away. It's like the booze didn't even phase him. Well, knowing you, I'm, s I'm sure you'll shake it off after a good night's rest. Really, though, have you ever thought of maybe drinking in moderation? Hmm, I think I heard of it before, long ago. I'm not sure what she thinks I'm talking about, but I doubt it's what I actually said. She must have thought you were talking about a bar. Lady Sarah returned home a few moments ago. Master Nightheart was even such a gentleman as to escort her back, too. I see. I guess it does take a gentleman to escort a stone-dead drunk back home when he's pretty busy himself. It would seem that Lady Sarah had an enjoyable evening drinking with her co-workers. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to, uh, to the idea of joining them sometime should the opportunity to prevent present itself. I get the feeling she'd place on uh, the list of monster drinkers. <laughs> uh, I feel almost back at liberal. So this stockroom, is this Sharon's accommodation? Yep. Oh, that's nice. At least, she, at least we're giving her a place to stay. You know, there was a room up here. Yeah, this one. Uh, oh wait, the wrong one. This one. I thought she would have gotten that, but I guess not. All right. Well, that is actually it for uh, the night. So let us turn in for the evening. Alright, day 18. July 18th. I do like the idea of our field studies, though. Though it's getting to the point where every single time we go there, something big is happening. Whether it be uh, abuse of power, whether it be uh, political warfare, whether it be actual warfare obtain soon council tasks old schoolhouse mystery 4 this month I would like to ask class 7 to simply relax and enjoy themselves that of course was a joke please delve deeper into the old schoolhouse and report back to me you may begin when you are ready but be sure to uh, you're ready for anything principal van dyke <laughs> I like that I like that I've known this boy since we were kids, but I have no idea what's on his mind lately. To be honest, I'm a bit worried. Would someone be uh, able to give me some advice on how to handle this? I'll be in the upper class dormitory if you can help. Oh, a noble. Snapped. Rumor has it that a first year in the photography, photography club, who shall remain nameless, Rex, 
has been taking pictures of people without their permission and selling them to other students. Okay, if this is true, I need uh, to make him stop uh, for his own good and everyone else's. If you are willing to assist me, please come to the photography club, uh, club's club room. Alright. Wow, they sure didn't hold back on the request this time. Looks like the only must do is exploring the old schoolhouse again, though. Guess I should start by figuring out which uh, one of these to take care of. The older schoolhouse can wait until later. This is the first free day I've had since we switched over to the summer uniforms. It'll probably get hotter, hot later, but it's nice right now, so I might as well get the show rolling. So we have three bonding points. One, four, five, six, seven, seven bonding events. Uh. <laughs> but unfortunately, this is going to have to be where this session ends. Um, it's going has to be a short session because I was. I do not have a lot of allotted time for today. But next time on The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel, we'll be giving Chapter 4 a proper beginning of, let's see, we'll be doing our student council request. We'll be hanging out with people. Uh, we'll do our field study. Well, we'll at least hopefully get to the start of our field study. But other than that, uh, not much going on. The only thing I've got to do other than this stuff is I'm actually going to go back on Trails to Azure. Uh, this will have been long done by now, as you will have known. Because um, I'm just not happy with how that turned out. Uh, a, certain, a certain session, session 5. Uh, but you won't know what session that will be. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all I've got going on. Alright, so I will see you guys next time.